We just uh, want to make sure that, that we're engaging the community and, and getting their thoughts and ideas. And, you know, um, some folks are concerned about the historic preservation of some of the buildings. We certainly want to take that into consideration. I value the railroad corner just like I value downtown. Both are important to the success and growth of, Di of Orangeburg. The city of Orangeburg wants to hear from its residents on the future redevelopment of Railroad Corner. City leaders have created an online survey and are hosting series of virtual input sessions to see what people want to be done to the area. Local historian Barbara Williams Jenkins says, Railroad Corner was once the hub of African American owned businesses for more than 100 years. You want to sell your history, you want to sell your you want to sell your story. The businesses will be new that you bring. A new building does not necessarily bring money. Williams Jenkins is a member of the South Carolina African American Heritage Committee. She says Railroad Corner had several businesses that were prime meetup spots for African Americans in the late 40s to the 60s. Williams Jenkins says the city should be looking to preserve those old buildings instead of trying to tear them down because it would erase Orangeburg's history. Well, for a town, that's, that represents almost a century of our history. It would be lost because so much of that town goes with the development of South Carolina, of Claflin and South Carolina State. The city will host a second virtual input session tonight at 6 p.m. In addition, you can still take a survey and leave your comments. You can find that information on our website at WLTX.com. For Shrew Squad Orangeburg, I'm Devin Johnson. Two Midlands Land.